Hello, thank you for stopping by. I'm so glad you're here. Today, I'm going to be pulling out a, a UFO that has been sitting in my closet for several months now uh, from the, the last video I uploaded, which uh, also was um, late summer, early fall. Uh, so I'm going to pull out this, this jacket I started working on and I just got sort of overwhelmed with it and uh, a lot of other stuff going on and I was tired and I, I just lost all motivation to do any sewing. The UFO is in my closet. I'm going to pull it out, start digging through it, the pieces and see if I can figure out what's what. Oh, good Lord. All right, I definitely need to go through and organize this closet. Uh, here's my work in progress slash UFO. I guess it's not currently in progress. Uh, I hope I can sort this out. It looks like a, just a mess of pieces. So this looks like the main part of the jacket that I already had constructed. What are you doing, Pearl? Okay, lining pieces. Anything else in here? No. Okay, it is now, uh, I, I don't know how many months since I started this jacket, but uh, uh, I'm done with it and I'm moderately happy with how it came out. There are, there are some issues that I just am not happy with, but I think there are things I can go back later if I want to and fix them. Issue number one, uh, I was really lazy with these cuffs. Don't know how well that shows up, but I did just a tiny little whip stitch around the edge to attach the lining to the shell fabric. And then I just went through with some uh, heavy, heavier uh, poly thread to top stitch together. It's very stiff. Uh, it's not at all how they were meant to be. They're supposed to be, you know, have the little cut in them to where they hang nicely. And I have enough of this uh, outer fabric and even the lining left that if I want to in the a future date, uh, if I want to at a future date, I could cut off the existing cuffs and attach new ones that are made correctly. The next thing I don't like about it is the fit. In general, the fit uh, is pretty good, but uh, I have gained some weight since I started this and it's taken me, what, I don't know, six months to finish this thing. So it's gotten just a little bit too tight in the belly. Uh, so what was an excellent fit to begin with has become just a little bit too tight now, but it's not terrible, terrible fit. It's just not uh, quite as generous as I would have liked. On a side note, I recently took a trip to London and I was able to see some really old, uh, like old men's coats there uh, at the Victorian Albert Museum and at, at Westminster Abbey, uh, no, um, and at the Tower of London, there are some military uniforms. And I noticed an interesting thing they did to uh, sort of exaggerate this cinched waist is that they, right below the waistline, there was a, like a, a row of padding that filled the hips out a little bit more. So it ended up just sort of uh, exaggerating the V shape or like the cinched waist shape for the uniforms. So it would be, you know, the shoulder pads and it would come in to fit properly at the waist, the natural waist. And then just below the natural waistline, there would be a little row of uh, padding that sort of bumped out the hips a little bit more, or just flared out the fabric at the hips just a little bit more. Um, maybe it absorbed sweat, maybe uh, prevented chafing or something. I don't know what all it did, but uh, that was interesting. Uh, completely random side note that has nothing to do with this. Okay, uh, so the fit, uh, not great, not terrible. The, the pattern itself, I am not faulting at all. Very much in love with this pattern still from this book, The Gentleman's Wardrobe. Uh, can't recommend that enough. Uh, I'm very happy with the, the collar. I think the collar came out well, it lays well. The lapels lay well. Um, so I, I do like this, but it needs me to be in a state of mind to come back and make some fixes to it to sort of cover up some of the oopsies I did in rushing through the finishing. Um, one big issue about this that I would say 
is the uh, main material here, this lemon tweed. With this, uh, with this fabric being both lightweight and loosely woven, it, it shows everything. So it would take somebody who is very de detail oriented and very precise with what they do in sewing to work with it successfully. I, I had moderate amount of success with it until I got lazy with the finishings. Um, but it's just not my favorite. I think part of the reason I'm just not into this right now is because we're going into summer and you know, it's hard to care about a jacket when you're going into summer. I won't be using this. Come back again fall, maybe I'll be all into, you know, rescuing this, fixing it. But it had become a work in progress, uh, an unfinished object, a UFO that was just sitting there uh, torturing me. I'm like, I'm never going to finish this thing. I'm, uh, I'm just bogged down in it. I'll never get it done correctly. I can't focus enough to get all the finishings done correctly. I was very overwhelmed by it. And so it just sort of sapped all of my sewing mojo completely and I wasn't doing any sewing. And um, I've been doing crocheting, but I haven't been doing any sewing. So I decided to just push through it even if the, the finishes didn't come out the best uh, and finish it. So th th that's what I did. It's finally finished months and months and months <laughs> after I started it. With this being finished, I can hang it and maybe come back to fix it up a little bit in the future but I can push forward with other projects that I might be more interested in. So while I haven't been sewing, I have done some crochet successfully. I uh, finished this ripple stitch afghan using Lion Brand Heartland yarn. Uh, pretty much whatever colors they had in stock that I they had enough of uh, for to finish this blanket. It's about a twin size, I think. Uh, the, the yarn was on sale, which is why I chose this particular one. I also really like it. It's a, a nice texture. Uh, I've started on another much more ambitious blanket uh, using Lion Brand 24-7 cotton yarn. I, I really like the feel of like 100% cotton blankets or like throws, um, but this one is going to be like a king size blanket, like maybe queen size, however big this is using a moss stitch. Uh, I am pretty much in love with this moss stitch. Uh, it's easy to work and it comes out really cool. And it's sort of a, it's a very fabric sort of texture to it. Cat's about to knock over the camera. Come here. Can you say hello? Or just give me dirty looks. So yeah, I have the crochet going. I finished that jacket finally. And I'm going to move on to another sewing project. Uh, I'm going for a, a very simple but cool project this time. So not too complicated to make, but has a lot of like coolness or like fun return to it. I believe this is from the 1920s, this old pattern. I'm gonna very carefully trace these pattern pieces off and use them to make a pair of pajamas using Uh, the second I needed the fabric, of course, my cat sits on it. So this blue fabric here that my cat is sitting on is a linen cotton blend that I am going to be using <laughs> to make those pajamas. Can you have the fabric, please? There we go. This fabric right here, it's a linen cotton blend with a white pinstripe and it's sort of a, like a sky blue. It's very like old man pajama fabric. Uh, I'm gonna use that to make some pajamas. That project should go pretty quick. I'm excited about that. Can I coax you back onto this fabric? And another future project I will make, um, strangely enough, is going to be a coat. I don't know how soon I'm going to be up for making this, and I definitely am not going to be using a very fussy pattern for it, but I, I kind of want to do it. Because in my recent trip to London, I had to buy some fabric, and wool coating there is 
Uh, there's a much more variety for a lot lower price there than you could get here. So I got uh, just a ton of this gorgeous wool coating. Uh, four, four meters, uh, however much that is. It was $20 a meter. In my head, that translates to $25 a yard, roughly. I don't know if that's a true, accurate translation, but that was just sort of how I was roughly estimating it in my head. I mean, you can see it's absolutely gorgeous. So I got four, four meters of it. That's all they had left. And because it does have a plaid on it, I wanted to make sure I had some extra. Uh, so I'm going to make sort of, uh, not a, like highly tailored coat, I want to make sort of uh, a more casual coat that looks smart with a nice fabric. This is the exterior here, this is the interior here. That's all I have for now. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the future.